as you guys already know that asus is crazy when it comes to inventing and last year they have introduced a thing called screen pad basically at the place of trackpad they are giving a screen and in the second version or in the second iteration of that same laptop they have released this asus zenbook 14 ux 434f yeah that's the name and uh, i have got it right over here in the studio and today i am going to tell you my experience with this laptop so hey what's up guys my name is zaheer and this is a full review of this asus zenbook 14 laptop which has a screen into the trackpad built in so yeah with that said let's begin so in the box you get this laptop over here and a 65 watt adapter and a usb lan adapter and uh, uh, this case which looks pretty good it's kind of a folio case now let's talk about my experience with this laptop so guys first of all let's talk about the build quality and design the complete laptop is metal the top portion is fully metal and it gives that uh, circular uh, brushed aluminium look it looks pretty fantastic by the way and even the uh, bottom portion is metal it's very very sturdy and solid it builds like a tank so there is no issues in terms of the build quality and design wise it looks pretty fantastic and guys you know what i can do this i can open this laptop with just one finger and and guys as you see over here i hope you guys are seeing this lights over here it has windows hello basically a ir face unlock and it has this argo lift design this top lid goes into the bottom as you see over here it lifts the bottom portion of the laptop and uh, gives it a place to breathe so for the thermal performance it will be very very helpful and it is just 1.26 kg it is very very light as you see over here and i have to say i am impressed with the design and the build quality of this laptop this laptop has a lot of ports on the left side we have this dc in basically a charging port a full size hdmi port not bad issues then a usb 3.1 gen 2 port and then a usb type c 3.1 gen 2 port it's not a thunderbolt but we have the type c port here which is amazing and then moving to this side we have a micro sd card slot uh, that's kind of a bummer in my opinion because uh, i am a videographer and i shoot a lot of videos and my camera accept the full size sd card so I cannot put the full size SD card over here. Why Asus? Why are you doing this? People would love to have the full size SD card slot. And then we have USB 2.0. <laughs> yeah, in 2019, our 1 lakh rupee laptop has a USB 2.0. That's the biggest disappointment in my opinion. Asus, if you're listening, this, this is not right. I know you can put some, you know, mouse receiver and all, but 2.0, seriously, no. And then we have a 3.5 mm headphone jack. Thank you so much for that. And then we have two LEDs to basically uh, tell you the drive activity and the battery charging status. Now, while opening it up, we got this 14 inch 1080p IPS display and spoiler alert, this display is just amazing. It has 14 inch size in the body of 13 inch laptop. The screen to body ratio is 92% as ASUS claims that and as you see the bezels are very very minimal. It has a 100% sRGB coverage so the colors are very very accurate to work for a creative too. And I have to say I am pretty much impressed with the display of this uh, laptop guys. Uh, it has a very very nice display even though it's a 60 hertz so it this laptop does not cater to gamers so please do mind that if it has such an amazing display it has to have some decent speakers too but i have to say uh, the speakers are quite average i'm not completely satisfied with the speaker of this laptop uh, the keyboard of this laptop is just amazing it gives you a very very solid feedback i mean it's not mechanical or something like that it has a chiclet style keyboard i don't feel that i will gonna need external keyboard with this laptop the keyboard is pretty fantastic you can type for longer hours too the traveling key distance is just amazing then moving to the trackpad or i can say the screen pad they are calling it a screen pad 2.0 basically it's a 5.65 inches of 1080p ips display it's a full hd plus 2160 by 1080p resolution basically a wide screen and uh, 
basically it's a phone at the place of the trackpad have you guys used that matte uh, screen guard you will get the same feeling right over here it has some matte texture but the display looks pretty bright it attracts fingerprint but it does not gather it and it does not become greasy or sticky so that's a very amazing thing in my opinion unlike the display display is pretty glossy and attracts lots and lots of fingerprints so yeah you can press f6 and go into the screen pad mode and guys i have to say this is not useless at all. I can use a lot of features over here. Like it has number key. I can enable number key. I can use handwriting feature and it has some quick shortcuts. I mean, there are a lot of flexibility and possibilities in the future where the software gets enhanced. It will become more and more useful if I want to use the Photoshop and all. I can use the toggles over here. So yeah, it's a very nice thing. By the way, it's a touch screen. So it will be very, very helpful. And I can use it as an extended display too. It has a plethora of features. You can adjust the brightness and all. So the software wise, it's decent, but not the best. I can say that Asus can improve the software of this part. If they can improve it, it will be very 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 amazing to use now moving on let's talk about the main thing the performance guys here i have to say the asus does not disappoint at all i mean this particular unit has a core i7 8 generation processor that the processor is i7 8560u processor which is a four core eight thread processor i mean this uh, small and slim machine has four cores and eight threads which are clocked at 1.8 gigahertz my particular unit has uh, 16 gb of ddr3 ram this variant has mx250 graphics so sometime when you get time with your office work or something like that you will play some games over here too uh, of course you have to lower the graphics to medium otherwise you won't get the playable frame rates but definitely you can play some games over here guys the performance is just amazing for some uh, minor tasks for example if you want to edit photos no issues no doubt about that this can handle the photo editing and video editing very easily not the 4k one but 1080p video editing with this laptop is very very possible so huge thumbs up from my side the performance of this laptop is just amazing even the thermals are good enough but not the best one that i have seen the Zephyrus one has the best thermal performance i have seen ever in the laptop with a very high-end processor this i7 is not a joke guys it's a very very high-end processor and it generates a lot of heat you know so i have to say the overall performance of this laptop is just amazing and with the performance they have given this 50 watt hour battery inside and uh, they are claiming it can give you 12 hours of battery life but in my practical usage i was getting around 8 to 9 hours of battery life which is just amazing and uh, it can also charge very quickly with the 65 watt adapter that they have provided so it takes around one and a half to two hours to completely charge this laptop and last you around 8 to 9 hours which is just amazing not bad and uh, asus has bundled windows 10 home built in with this laptop now 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 let's talk about the main thing the cost this laptop cost 1 lakh rupees and uh, now the question starts you know at 1 lakh rupees uh, you will get some amazing laptop but i have to say this laptop is just amazing too because if you are not planning to game this is a very thin and light laptop by the way guys and it has i7 processor mx250 graphic cards one terabyte nvme ssd not bad 16 gb of ram so overall the laptop experience is pretty good at the one lakh rupees even if you exclude the screen pad feature but if you include the screen pad feature it's a very good and very worthy laptop to buy in this price range if you want to do purchase it i will leave the link in the description box below a full disclaimer that is the affiliate links if you can buy from that link i will get some commission without costing you any extra penny so yeah that's all in this video guys i hope you found this video helpful if it did hit that like button right now share this video with your friends who are looking to buy any laptop especially the thin and light one so it would be very very helpful for them and if you have any question queries or suggestion you can feel free to leave them in the comment section below and guys if you love my content you can subscribe to this channel and hit that bell notification icon so you'll be notified when i post next videos on this channel so stay tuned for that so yeah thank you so much for watching this video guys bye bye